All right, so welcome to another Nick Sabicki's Music Production Secrets. Uh, today is actually just going to be quick and, and nice. Uh, I'm just going to quickly explain and go over how microphones work. Uh, and really, we're going to look at two different types of microphones. You've probably heard these names before. This is the Shure SM58. This is what we call a dynamic microphone. And we'll also look at, uh, this is the AKG C214. This is what we're going to call a condenser microphone. And they have some pretty noticeable differences as far as how they work. Um, you've probably seen microphones like this style as well as this style. Um, you're more likely to see this, uh, you know, in, in at a, when someone's giving a speech or maybe you know playing something uh, live on stage, maybe singing into it, um, whereas you're more likely to see this type of microphone in the recording studio. So we'll explore a little bit of the differences today in this video, and the next video we'll actually go in what those differences actually mean to you. So first, how they work. Let me open up my little notepad paper here. And, oops, this button. And on the left here, let's talk about a dynamic microphone. So here's that Shure SM58 body design. And here's that giant bulb at the top. Um, this giant bulb, this sphere at the top of the microphone is actually uh, really just a big windscreen. So again, actually I should label this. Always label your work, right? That's what your math teacher said or somebody did. Uh, so this is a dynamic microphone. And this thing at the top, as I was saying, is called a windscreen. Really, it's just so when you speak into it, the actual air that comes out of your mouth doesn't move the diaphragm. You really just want the sound to move the diaphragm. So the, wind, the windscreen will actually block the movement of air, but let sound go through. It's, it's porous enough to, and small enough to let sound go through. All right, so inside this microphone, uh, what we're going to have is we're going to have this tiny little thin diaphragm sort of stretched over this opening here. So again, you can't see inside this usually because it's covered by a windscreen. So sound's coming in. And the sound's gonna go and just hit this little tiny, it's almost like a film, it's like a very, very thin balloon uh, right there. And this, uh, this diaphragm is actually hooked up uh, to a very, very thin, I'll use a different color, very, very thin metal coil. So there's my thin metal coil. And I'm not good at drawing again. And basically, it's going to move around a magnet. So there's my magnet. I should have drawn these in a different order. Here, let's try that again. So there's my magnet, and there's my metal coil. Uh, and if you guys know anything about magnets, uh, I first consult... I, you guys should go check out the Insane, Cl uh, Insane Clown Posse video. Uh, I, think they, I think they do a pretty good job explaining how magnets work. Uh, but in case you haven't seen that, uh, basically whenever you have a, a magnet, you, you create a magnetic field, and when you have some sort of metal or something else that interacts with that magnetic field, uh, what you produce is an electrical current. So we're going to have a little electrical current come out of here. That's my wire. And that's the part that comes out of the, the microphone. So I have sound coming in. The sound moves the diaphragm, and it's just a tiny bit. Sound is a really small amount of energy. We're talking about very, very small vibrations. Um, but that's enough to move this little metal coil around a magnet, which basically generates uh, your electrical signal that will follow along with, in theory, whatever sound you made. All right, so that's pretty easy. Uh, let's talk about the other type of microphone that is uh, most popular in the use in the studio. Well, that's not dynamic. We're talking about condensers. And sometimes these are called capacitor microphones, and you'll see why. Um, condenser microphones, like that C214, I'm going to do a side angle view of this one. Um, so what you have in a side angle view of a condenser is you have um, some sort of conductive back plate, like that. And then suspended right in front of it, you have a very thin, it's almost always gold. I don't know if anyone ever has used anything else other than gold, but uh, it's a very, very thin piece of gold right there. And actually, if we go back to that uh, picture of that 214, if you see this circle right here, this golden circle, that's real gold, okay? so. Uh, keep that in mind, but here's the problem. Maybe that's not a problem, but just here's the thing about it is that it's very very thin Usually just a few microns thin so very very thin circular piece of gold right there again This is a side view that other picture. We were just looking at was a front view and this golden plate is a sort of suspended right there in front of that and Then what happens in a condenser microphone is I'll use a different color we we'll use black for wires. Uh, basically, we run some sort of current through here and then out of here. And these two plates basically act as a capacitor, sort of limiting how much electricity can, can flow through here. And when sound comes in, it'll actually cause this extremely thin piece of gold to move a little bit closer to this plate and reduce the capacitance. And when sound pressure level pulls away, it'll actually cause the plate to come out just a little bit and increase the capacitance. Um, 
So whatever you have a microphone that is a condenser microphone, uh, basically notice you also need a power. You need, it needs some sort of electri electrical current to go through. This is usually supplied by something that you'll see abbreviated as 48V or a phantom power. And so if you ever plug in a condenser microphone and you don't give it phantom power, it will not work. Uh, and I learned this out the very hard way when I was uh, in high school and uh, my parents bought me a condenser microphone for my birthday one year and I just couldn't get the thing to work and I was just horribly distraught. Uh, again, that was a long time ago. You know, I'm, I have a little more experience now. I, I learned this lesson actually pretty quickly. Um, again, when I got my first condenser microphone, this was in the very, very early days of the internet. I couldn't just go look it up online or if I could, it was hard to find. Um, so it took me a while to figure this out. And uh, anyway, that's the, let me draw a little microphone head. So I usually be in a some sort of squarish windscreen here and have some sort of body like this. So usually condenser microphones are square. And again, you uh, address them from the side. In other words, if you're going to record like your voice, you're actually going to speak into them from the side. Whereas dynamic microphones, you uh, usually go in head on, usually. All right, so there's your two major microphone types. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about what each of these different microphone types will do uh, and why you'd want to pick one or the other.